Well, a couple of years ago, I guess it was uh, 2016, I did two nights at the Hollywood Bowl. It was an amazing experience. I, I'd never played on stage uh, with a full orchestra before. You know, that 85-piece Hollywood Bowl orchestra. And uh, it just added such a level of gravitas to the, to the whole show. It just really made me think, wouldn't this be great to do a whole tour like this? We didn't know if it was gonna be possible, but obviously it is, because here we are. We're doing the, the Strings Attached tour, and every single night we're performing with a full symphony orchestra. Well, all the songs are better <laughs> with an orchestra. I mean, you know, uh, some songs maybe don't need a, a 41-piece orchestra. I mean, Nirvana parodies don't necessarily need a string section. But, you know, there are some songs that we've never done live with an orchestra before uh, because they kind of need that sound. Like, uh, we haven't done Jurassic Park since the early 90s, but I mean, when you're doing a MacArthur Park parody and you have an orchestra, you use it, you know? It's, it, it's, uh, it really adds a lot to the song. Uh, you know, my, my mother actually took me to the Hollywood Bowl when I was a very young kid, maybe five or six years old. So that's, that's a very early memory in general of, of classical music. When I was a disc jockey in college, one of my shifts was um, they, called Pacific Concert. Our campus radio station played classical music. So I don't know why, but I would assume like a British accent. <laughs> in fact, I did a, a the classical music uh, uh, album with Wendy Carlos where I also had a bad British accent. I don't know what it is. It just seems like, well, you, got, you have to have a British accent. Bizet's Carmen Sweet, uh, sometimes. I, I got to conduct the Junior Philharmonic Orchestra a number of years ago. That, that occasionally still gets stuck in my head. I'm not sure that I'd even have a career if I had a more conventional instrument because uh, Dr. Demento told me that if uh, he'd gotten a tape in the mail from some teenager doing funny songs with a guitar, he would have been, oh well, that's not very novel. The, the fact that, you know, my, my song wasn't that brilliant or anything, but he thought, here's a teenager playing the accordion and thinking he's cool. I gotta, I gotta support this a little bit. So it, it made me stand out. So I, I'm, I'm glad for that. Uh, it's just one of those kind of uh, synchronicity things where I was in the right place at the right time. And uh, he just thought, you know, here's, here's a guy that's a little outside the box. Well, I'm giving up Don Pardo. Just tell me now what I didn't win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I lost a Jeopardy, baby. Ooh.